Hi, I'm Thomas Alwanelli, Networking Academy instructor at Turo University. This is final exam assignment for GCON 224 students from Turo University. I'm going to explain and demonstrate and show you step-by-step -step explanation and solution how to solve this problem how to configure this topology this network so here is the requirement we are going to uh, configure uh, dhcp version 4 server on router 2 we have two local area networks so those local area networks must get ip addresses from uh, central server from router 2. Uh, here's the requirements. First of all, what we need here, we have to assign IP addresses. Let's start from router 1. Okay. Command line interface, enable, configure terminal, First, let's assign IP, uh, the host name, host name R1. Then we have IP address uh, the interface, int geek zero slash one, IP address and first usable address on green network is 192.168.1.1 with subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and immediately no shutdown because it's administratively down by default and we must bring it up so we have done with this interface and let's do same thing on gigabit is at net zero slash zero. Uh, and his uh, IP address. And uh, let's see what we have here. Here we have 10.17.1.1. This is first. Uh, usable address from this range and no shutdown. So um, we have done. And now let's activate serial interface. Interface is 0 slash 0 slash 0 and this IP address IP address 156.16.10.1 with 255.255.255.252 and no shutdown. Uh, here's uh, still we have uh, red color because opposite side is still down. Okay. Uh, we have done we assigned ip address to this router okay let's jump to here to router 2. okay enable configure terminal host name r2 and interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and ip address is um one fifty six address one fifty six dot sixteen dot ten dot thirty uh sorry the two with two fifty five the two fifty five the two fifty five the two fifty two and and not shut down shut down and let's check let's check this interface again 
yes, we did uh, everything correctly here. So uh, we have done. Uh, first of all, let's assign uh, enable secrets, enable secrets, secrets. And uh, uh, here is the class. Uh, so this password is for, to access to privileged mode. So um, let's configure banner message of the day. Okay, banner MOTD um, pound sign on um, oh, is it access is strictly prohibited and pound sign we assign we signed um banner motd now uh, we have to assign password to the line console and we have to go line console line console zero zero and they should be password password cisco and immediately login and we have to assign password um, the a virtual teletype vty line line vty from 0 to 15 uh, and password also cisco and login okay we we did it and now if we run running configuration to show run you will see that our passwords are in clear text so we have to encrypt them typing service password encryption and entering this command we are encrypting clear passwords okay we have done here in this router let's do same thing on this router this is the requirement okay exit so uh, first of all enable secret and there is class then banner MOTD or Z access is strictly TB TED. Okay, we enter it. We enter it to banner also. And now let's assign passwords to the line console and the VTY line. Line console zero. Password is Cisco. And line VTY password Cisco and login immediately. Line VTY from 0 to 15, password Cisco, and a login, um, and a login. So exit, and we have to enter service password encryption to encrypt clear text password clear X passwords. <clears throat> so let's check. Do show run. And indeed, all passwords are now encrypted. What we have? What we have left now? Assign IP addresses. Seeing the topology, we already did it. So configure router um, RIP version 2 for R1 and R2. Let's do it. So let's start from this router. And um, uh, this requirement, 
so a network IP address is uh, provided and disable auto summary okay so and we have to use version two okay let's do it router reap um version two no auto summary and uh, let's let's enter networks which are directly connected network 192.168.1.0 second network is net 10.17.2.0 and our network is 156.16.10.0. So we entered all three networks which are directly connected to router one. Okay, we did it. Router two. <laughs> okay, router. RIP version two, no auto summary, and we are entering just one single network, network 156.16.10.0. We have done, we have done, and let's check connectivity from this router to this interface. Do ping 192.168.1.1. And yes, we have connection. We have a configuration properly. We did configuration properly. Okay. What we need now? Now we have to configure the DHCP, uh, DHCP a server on router two. Okay, let's do it. This is router two. And first of all, masking for green and blue networks uh, exclude first 10 usable IP addresses. Okay, exit. From global configuration mode, we have to type IP DHCP question mark excludes, and we must um, enter starting IP address 192.168.1.1 and ending IP address is 192.168.1.10. So I asked here first 10 usable IP addresses. So we excluded and we have to exclude first 10 usable addresses for blue networks also. 10.17.10.1 to 10.17.10.10. .10 .10 .10. And we excluded, we excluded first 10 usable IP addresses. Now we have to create the pool, the CP pool. So for, let's do for a green network, for green network. And I'm asking, create the CP pool with name GCON 20 to 24 for green network. And the CP pool with name when two for, blue network let's do it so ip dhcp pool and question mark and here uh, we have to enter the name gco n to 24 to 24 and now we have to enter network 
Let's see, question mark. So network, network, and we have network for a green network, 192, 168, that one, that zero with uh, network mask, 255, that 255, that 255, that zero. We entered, what else we need? So now we need a default router. I mean, default gateway, default router is default gateway. 192, 168, that one, that one. That is default gateway. And question <clears throat> mark. A domain DNS server, DNS server, DNS server, and I'm asking for DNS server, uh, all four that's 200, 200, the 200, the 200, the 200. Okay, we enter it and domain name. And here we must enter turo.edu. Okay, we did it and exit. Let's check. Do show run. And yes, we created, we have DNS server, we have default router, I mean, default gateway, network address, um, network address. Um, and uh, domain name. Let's create second pool for blue network. And <clears throat> this is the command IP, DHCP, pool, and when two. When two. And his network, network. 10.17.10.0 with 255, 255.255.0. And um, default gateway, default gateway is 10.17, 10 10.1. And uh, DNS, DNS server is 200, the 200, the 200, the 200. And uh, domain name is turo.edu. We did it, we did it. Everything we have done. Now, after creating the CP pools, now we need to configure router one with IP helper address, both interfaces, which are pointing to those two networks, local networks. Okay, first we have to go under this interface, exit, Interface geek zero slash one, and under this interface, we have to end, uh, enter IP helper address, address, and we have to enter IP address of this interface 156, 156. Dot 16.10.2, okay? And other interface, which is gig zero slash zero, and we have to enter same IP helper address. And we have, we have done, let's check now if those PCs and users can get IP addresses 
automatically from the GCP server, which is uh, in remote location. Okay, let's check. Let's check desktop, static, and BHCP. And let's see. Yes, we can. This PC can request IP address from the HCP server. So router one redirects the HCP request from PC one to the DHCP server and the HCP server uh, offers IP address back to PC one. So let's check this PC. DHCP. Yes, see, and IP address here is starting from that one that 11. So well, we excluded first 10 usable IP addresses. That's why we are starting. Um, we get IP address first available IP address from, from the DHCP pool. Let's check these pieces. And um, this PC, PC4, gets IP address uh, from DCP server. And um, router 2 offers IP address from right DCP pool. OK. That's it. And uh, if you see completion right here, completion, we have 60 out of 60. This means that we configured this network and this is our solution. I hope this video uh, tutorial is uh, useful for you and now you understand how to how to configure the HCP server. Thank you for watching this video.